Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the academic procession. Please be seated. Professor Wendy Thompson, CBE, Vice Chancellor, University of London. Professor Wei Kwok Kee, Provost, SIM. Distinguished guests, graduates, ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to the SIM and University of London Presentation Ceremony. My name is Karen Tang, and I'm honoured to be your Master of Ceremony today. This year's ceremony is a very special one for SIM and the University of London. We will see close to 1,400 students from the class of 2022 who will be graduating over three sessions. This cohort has also done us proud in achieving 166 first-class honours. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in applauding our graduates for their achievements. It is now my pleasure to introduce our distinguished panel on stage. At extreme left side of the stage, first row, we have Professor David Webb, EMFSS Chair of Exam Board and the Professor of Finance, London School of Economics and Political Science. <laughs> Dr. Timothy Chan, Vice Provost, SIM. Professor Wendy Thompson, CBE, Vice-Chancellor, University of London. At your extreme right, first row, we have Dr. Francesco Nava, Academic Director, EMFSS Programmes, London School of Economics and Political Science. Dr. Lim Kim Ng, Dean, Academic Division, SIM. <laughs> Professor Mary Stiasny, OBE, Pro Vice Chancellor, International Teaching and Learning, University of London. <laughs> and Professor Wei Kwok Kee, Provost, SIM. I would now like to invite Professor Wei Kwok Kee, Provost, SIM, to deliver his welcome address. Prof Wei, please. Professor Wendy Thompson, CPE, Vice Chancellor, University of London, 
distinguished guests, graduates, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon and a very warm welcome to the SIM University of London graduation ceremony 2023. To all our graduates today, congratulations on your achievements. I believe this milestone will be one to remember for a long time. We are all very proud of you for having overcome the various disruptions and challenges brought about by the pandemic in your learning journey. You have demonstrated determination and resilience and should be proud of your accomplishment today. I'm certain that your loved one has been constantly supporting and cheering you on along the way as well. So, as you rejoice in your graduation, remember to take a moment to thank them. Our partnership with University of London has always been very special, as UOL is the first globally recognised university that we partnered with in 1986 to bring an overseas undergraduate programs to Singapore. In the 1980s, as Singapore embarked on its second industrial revolution, there was a critical raise in manpower demand, not just for engineers and computer professionals, but also for talents to manage such knowledge-intensive sector. The SIM UOL partnership played a pivotal role in helping to meet such manpower demand. The first SIM UOL program, the Bachelor of Science Honours in Management Study, was met with overwhelming response from the public. It was the prestige and academic quality of a UOL qualification that was an important factor in this demand. The partnership has since grown from strength to strength. Today, we have 30 SIM UOL programs across areas such as business analytics, data science, digital innovation, and financial technology, to name a few. They were introduced to impart our students with knowledge and skill for the future of work. From our first intake of only 40 students in 1986, our partnership has since produced over 43,000 graduates today. In 2016, the university set up the UOL SIM Global Education Regional Center based at SIM to build mutually beneficial relationships with key stakeholder organization and to rise the profile of UOL at SIM. SIM has been and continues to be UOL largest teaching center in the world. SIM UOL graduates have also consistently performed well every year. This year, we continue to see a steady number of graduates with good academic performance, with a total of 166 graduates receiving first-class honours, as well as 35 award recipients for academic achievement for the 2022 examinations. Your stellar achievements speak volume of your capability and commitment. Well done to the class of 2022. Graduates, with the education you receive here today, I'm confident that you will have the skill, knowledge, and mindset to navigate and take hold of opportunity in the future economy. However, the international outlook is seemingly uncertain with many challenging, uh, challenges remaining. A global economic slowdown, for example, the continuing Russia-Ukraine conflict and the U.S.-China tensions, as well as the inflation and raising costs worldwide. Let's not forget about climate changes as well, which is a growing concern for many countries. Despite these challenges, we should not simply resign ourselves to it. 
famous scientist Albert Einstein once said, in the middle of difficulty lies opportunities. As you graduate today, allow me to share with you two post-pandemic opportunities as you go forth to make your mark in the society. First, the opportunity to continue being adaptable and agile. The pandemic has revealed to us our ability to adapt well and adapt, and, and adapt fast. For the past three years, living with COVID-19 has been the training ground to prepare all of us for a post-pandemic world. This next phase is the opportunity to continue honing your ability to embrace changes and adjust. Just as how you did in the past three years, so that you can thrive in life and for life. Second, the opportunity to continually learn. The pandemic has pushed many organizations to make massive adjustments and innovate constantly to drive. This is also coupled with the fourth industrial revolution, rendering traditional skills obsolete at an accelerated pace. While it has transformed the future of work and learning, it presents an opportunity for all of us to adapt a mindset of lifelong learning and to constantly upgrade ourselves to stay relevant and keep up with the fast-changing times. On this note, I would like to encourage you to see your degree not as the end of your learning journeys, but the beginning of a lifetime of continuous learning. This will help you navigate and drive through different stages of your life and career. We welcome you to check in with us should you need any support for your professional development. We are more than happy to help you with our wide range of programs including short courses, some of which are done in partnership with our numerous industrial partners. No matter what your stage of life or learning needs, SIM is here to facilitate and support you in nurturing the lifelong learner in you, so that you can learn from life and thrive for life. As you move towards to realize your dream, we have confidence in all of you and wish you the very best. Remember to stay connected with us at UOL and SIM. We look forward to hear about your adventures. Once again, my heartiest congratulations to all of you. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Wei. I now invite Professor David Webb, EMFSS Chair of Exam Board and Professor of Finance, London School of Economics and Political Science, to deliver his address. Professor Webb, please. Professor Wendy Thompson, Professor Wei Kwok Key. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, graduands, it's my great privilege to address you on this special occasion, and I'm delighted to be back in Singapore in person with you to celebrate the achievements of our EMFSS graduating students. I'd like to begin by offering the students my congratulations and acknowledgement of the hard work that has enabled you to reach this stage. A good education has been said by many speakers, uh, is transformational, is key to so many opportunities. I come from a very ordinary background. My life was transformed by my education. Yours will change your futures too. I would also like to give public rec recognition to those family members and supporters who are with us today, who are here to celebrate your achievements and also those who can't be with us. With their ba backing, you've enjoyed the opportunity to study and achieve your full potential. So thanks are obviously due to your family and guests, but primarily, this is your day, and we're here to concentrate on your achievements and celebrate them. 
Your education began in very challenging times with the pandemic, and you're graduating today, hopefully in slightly better times, with a University of London degree. The university has offered external degrees for over 160 years, and once upon a time offered all of the internal degrees, such as the degrees that we now award at the LSE. We only got our own degree awarding powers in the 1990s. Um, and the university is a world leader in its field, certainly of global education. So you join a global fellowship of graduates and achieve a qualification of the highest quality recognized throughout the world by employers and institutions of graduate study. I'm not going to run through a list of all the, edu the eminent graduates of the program, but it is impressive. And you can obviously look on your own when you peruse Wikipedia and various other places to see who some of these people are. Uh, the list does include business leaders, major politicians, and of course, a number of Nobel Prize winners, including Man Nelson Mandela, would you believe? The, uh, the university's reputation is based on the outstanding teaching and research of its member institutions. All of you here today are graduating on a University of London program with academic direction from the LSE, my own institution, where I've worked for, would you believe, 39 years, and I've been head of the academic department of finance, pro director, chief financial officer, numerous other roles. But in the course of all of these roles, I've had the privilege of helping develop and support the University of London programs directed by the LSE. And I say that very sincerely. The LSE ensures that the programs are well designed with excellent curricula and delivery. At LSE, we design the syllabi and, you and, and your study guides. And um, of course, we also set the exams, we mark the exams, and are there essentially to make sure that the degrees that you do are of genuine international standard, similar to that of our own degrees. And our aim in working with colleagues at SIM is to equip you on your graduation with the knowledge and skills to succeed in a range of graduate jobs or go on to further academic study, in some cases at LSE. Actually, we're very happy that I think last year six graduating students joined our master's programs, and that number's only going to increase. It's especially appropriate, though, to acknowledge the very important role and contribution of the Singapore Institute of Management, where you have had the privilege of studying. SIM has offered University of London programs since 1986, and since then, over 40,000 students have graduated. We rely on the high standards of our colleagues at SIM to enhance the learning experience, as well as to offer students learning support that is unavailable elsewhere. Without that input, often unapplauded, the students here today would not have achieved their full potential. So on behalf of the University of London and LSE, I'd like to convey my deep appreciation and that of my colleagues, as I say, at LSE, to SIM colleagues. But I'd like to single out um, Ms. Sylvia Yeo, the Assistant Director, and Dr. Jane Zhang, head of the UOL programs, himself a graduate of the LSE, and who I had the privilege of te teaching about 20 years ago. So since its founding in, 19, in 1895, the LSE has been proud to be at the forefront of teaching and research in social sciences at under, aimed at understanding the world and its problems. In a world of accelerated innovation, new technology, uh, including uh, the challenges these days of uh, artificial intelligence, new business models, new areas of opportunity and risk, it's going to be really important that a good education is recognized, and it's only through that that you'll be able to meet these challenges. The world is an increasingly complex place. We've endured the pandemic. We're currently in a cost of living crisis, which seems to be pretty global. Social divides are only getting worse. There are already real threats, obviously, posed by climate change, and there are significant challenges posed by political and economic uncertainties and, unfortunately, wars. But all of you, therefore, in your careers are going to have to have a deeper understanding of the world and its challenges and, and, and be able to meet those challenges. 
The nature of work is changing because of the rapidly changing nature of the world that we're living in and the technological improvements that we're uh, faced with. So therefore, flexibility is super important in the labor market. And so lifelong learning will play an increasingly important role for you all. And hopefully, your appetites have been whetted to the importance of education, but you shouldn't uh, assume that your education is over. You'll continue to learn, you'll continue to adapt, and hopefully you'll meet the challenges of this evolving world. So drawing on what you've learned in the classroom and for your rich and productive dialogue you had with each other, we believe that the degree that you've earned here at SIM will help you become strong citizens in this rapidly evolving and challenging world. Today, though, we're simply here to celebrate your achievements. We're very proud of you, and I'd just like to say on behalf of the LSE, and on this occasion the University of London as well, congratulations, and I wish you the very best in your future careers and whatever you do, and we know that many of you will make a significant contribution to both Singapore and those that travel abroad elsewhere. And I hope very much that a number of you will um, come to the London School of Economics and uh, enjoy some of our academic offerings. So um, with that, I'd just like to say thank you very much for inviting me to the SIM. Thank you, Professor Webb. I now invite Dr. Francesco Nava, Academic Director, EMFSS Programs, London School of Economics and Political Science, to deliver his congratulatory remarks. Dr. Nava, please. <clears throat> Distinguished guests, family members, friends, and most of all, graduates, it is a privilege, a real privilege, to be here with you today on this special occasion on behalf of the London School of Economics, where I serve as a faculty member in the Economics Department, the MSc Economics Program Director, and most importantly, the Academic Director of the University of London EMFSS Program, so the programs in Economics, Finance, Management, and Social Science, the ones you have studied for. Let me begin by recognizing this fantastic achievement of our graduating students. Today marks the culmination of years of dedication, and we must acknowledge the unique challenges that you faced during these years. This is a major step in your life journey, and one that should be recognized for its immense significance. Graduating from Singapore Institute of Management with an EMFSS degree. This is a major step in your life journey and one that should be recognized for its significance. Um, it is not only an act of personal commitment, but also one of pride. Your efforts and talent were the bedrock of today's success. And trust me, we know extremely well how challenging these degrees are and how hard you had to work to get to today. Well, at graduations, we often look at the future and at the opportunities opened by the degrees you have studied for, I ask you to take a moment to reflect and cherish what you have already accomplished and to recognize the vital contribution that your friends, family, and your peers played in this. On behalf of the LSE, I also want to acknowledge the outstanding tuition that you have received at Singapore Institute of Management, where you had the privilege of studying. We rely on the outstanding standards of colleagues here to offer a world-leading learning experience. Students, today you will graduate from a University of London degree with academic direction of the London School of Economics. Our role, as said by Professor Webb at the LSE, is to ensure that our degrees reflect the latest standards in research and are comparable to world-leading degrees on these fields, including the degrees we offer on campus in London. 
since its founding, LSE has been proud to train generations of leaders who have shaped the world we live in. LSE's motto is rerum cognoscere causa, which means to know the causes of things. With our degrees, we seek to equip students with the critical skills not just to understand the challenges and opportunities of the present, but to become positive agents of change for the future. That is, um, what we have given you through our degrees is a platform to shape and serve the world in the careers, professions, and offices that you will hold. Your degree is a product of the successful collaboration between University of London, Singapore Institute of Management, and the London School of Economics. We are proud of this strong connection between the three institutions, and we are delighted that graduating students today will join the half a million strong alumni community of EMFSS degrees. We have welcomed many SIM students at LSE over the years. Some of you will have come to summer school, some of you will have come to general course program. But we hope to welcome many more for postgraduate studies, whether it's a master degree or a PhD at LSE, and to study with us and to live a full LSE experience. On behalf of the LSE, let me congratulate you once again, wish you any good fortune on all future endeavors you choose to pursue, and let me just remind you to stay hungry and stay foolish. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Nava. We will now present graduates from programs under the academic direction of the London School of Economics and Political Science. I shall now invite Professor Wendy Thompson, CBE, Vice-Chancellor, University of London, for the presentation of graduates. Vice-Chancellor, I present to you graduates from the Bachelor of Science in Banking and Finance full-time programme. The first class honours recipients are Chi Si Xuan. Quick Xian Leong. Luo Ting Ting. Ng Hui Xian, Beatrice. Nicole Lawrence Gunawan. Shania Nadia Setyawan. Tan Wan Chi. Tio Jun Kai. Teresa Nadia Jitrosantoso. Yao Wenjie. Zheng Yu Jie, Gerald. The graduates are Ang Yuxuan Clements,
A. A. Aung. Bei Tiahui Sylvester. Bernardus Minata. Brian Chan Wei Tie. Cadence Sim Kai Un. Celeste Lu She Ying. Celine Wong Tong Sin. Chen Aisha. Chen Kai Sin Derwin. Chen Yu Chie. Chong Ling Cheng. Chong Rui Hong. Chong Xiao Qi. Clement Chua Ka Kin. Crystal Lao Jin Shin. Deepti Kumara Velu. Didier Oswaldo Molina Josal. Dinesh Shega. Eshweta Maran. Feli Anthony. Felin Tan Su Jing. Fion Pan Chai Feng. Gag Parag. Gary Nyo Tuntie. Go Jun Yong, Eric. Go Pei Yi. Hei Wei Chun. iPhone An Shu.
Jamie Tan Xiaoqing. Jennifer Markella Setio. Gerald Ye. Jerry Chua Guo Wei. Kajal Bhagat Ajit Kumar. Kinyat Susan. Ko Jin Hong. Liu Guan Ting. Lim Fang Ling. Lim Fen Hui. Lim Jin Yuan. Lim Lauren. Lim Li Xuan, Shermaine. Lim Sherlin. Lim Shi Wei. Lo Yin Shong. Meng Lu. Nadia Binti Sunam. Ng Wei Meng. Ng Chen Hong Zack. New Chi Rui. Novia Iriana. Ong Wan Ting. Peng Li Tian Mu. Wit Miat Pu. Rachel Lee. Rachel Tan. Siu Xian. Ron Lim Chun Tie. Ross Linda. Satini Ravinia Silva.
שלין קוסומה. סיאה קאי יונג ווילפרד. סילביאנה. סים ג'יה צ'ן יוג'ין. סו פנג טו. סולי ניקיטה סנדיפ. טאן טיאן סאן. טאן וואן טינג. טאן וואן סי. טאן Zhi Xian. Tio Junyong, Jeremy. Tiribello, Oliver, Tay, Yong, Jun. Travis Chua Wen Kai. Wong Fu Yong. Wong Wei Heng. Yao Bao Rong, Aaron. Zahira Zaifa Binti Zainuddin. Chang Ye. Chu Huan Qing. Let us give a round of applause to the graduates who have just been presented. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, I present to you graduates from the Bachelor of Science in Banking and Finance part-time program. The graduates are Jasmine Chan Jiamin Li Cheng Chun Se Shan Jie Han Shi Ting, Sheena. Okay. Let us give a round of applause to the graduates who have just been presented. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, I present to you graduates from the Bachelor of Science in Data Science and Business Analytics. The first class honours recipients are Amelia Tong Dylan Yu Jinchi Edric Jameson Wijaya
高家好。Li Wen Kang, Lim Shuyan, Cheryl Tan Shu Hui, Tan Wai Kit. Victor Min Turashwe, the graduates are Amanda Tan Jingyi, Amelia Apta. Angie Ching Eun Tsi. Asif Mariam. Chaudhari Ayushi Manoj. Chen Chun Wei. Chu Cheng Wei, Javier. Clarice Lam, Xin Yi. Claudia Jocelyn Sutanto. Ferdinand Richard Wang. Gan Seng Chan. Gek Tia Min. Gordy Chin Wei Lung. Ho Wei Kin, Reynard. Hung Chun Luan. Hung Wen Wen, Amanda. Joyce Pei Po Chu. Zhuang Shi Jie. Catherine Gozali. Ko Rui Jie, Jonathan. Li Seng Tat. Lim Shichen Priska. Lydia Pang Sui Ling. Melvin Chia Chun Yo.
Mohammad Ismail bin Abdul Malik. Mohammad Shafiq Irfan bin Sutrisno. Ang Si Hun Lindy. Ngen Mai Ngok. Nigel Ku Bing Shu. Ning Jun Xiang. Olav Michael Angelo Zotomeo. Ong Min Hui Cheryl. Priyalatha Logarajan. Putri Sabrina Ertiatno. Rachel Chung Pei Shuen. Rajin Ang Rui Min. Si Yen Yi. Sim Ye Xiang. Siraj Sebastian. Siti Noor Balkis binti Muhammad Supyan. So Yong Hao Timothy. Tan Jin Yuan. Tan Ying Yin, Evangeline. Teo Xuan Un, Shannon. Wong Chuan Fang, Gladys. Yo In Jun. Yo Cheng Wei, Jonathan. Yui Chi Xuan. Yuki Ng Mei In. Let us give a round of applause to the graduates who have just been presented. Vice-Chancellor, I present to you graduates from the Bachelor of Science in Economics. The first class honours recipients are... Ko Je Rong. Vaithyanathan Soundyara. The graduates are Evangeline Tang Tielin. Farhana Binti Ghazali.
Ho Shao Xuan, Alvin. Leonard Yu Yuilun. Ng Kang Yong. Ong Jing Wen, Sarah. Regina Ng Xin Yi. Sandra Kwa. Sim Jun Wei, Sylvester. Tan Han Lin. Tandon Aditya. Yao Yi Sin. Yoganita Sivakuma. Cheng Si. Let us give a round of applause to the graduates who have just been presented. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, I present to you graduates from the Bachelor of Science in Economics and Finance. The graduates are Aryan Singh. Carmen Go Zeyin. Caroline Susan. Edwin Ong Wei Liang. Go Jia Ying. Ku Jing Wei. Lao Kwok Tung. Lee Chuen Tong. Ng Yi Chang, Jared. Pang Jia Jin. Sarah Yo Shu Chi. So Hui Chen. Tan Jun Jing. Teng Chi Sin. Tong Pei Chi. Let us give a round of applause to the graduates who have just been presented. 
Vice Chancellor, I present to you graduates from the Bachelor of Science in Economics and Management. The first class honors recipient is To Jin Xuan. The graduates are Aryan Garg. Ong Ti Ha Keely Tan Yu Ning Kan Nya Ong Ko Chun Wei Lo Jin Jie Narasiman Samyukta Pan Ting Xuan Sim Wei Kang Tarukia Nikita Snehal Xia Ye Yo Jie Yi Zou Yi Zinia Lo Yin Tong Let us give a round of applause to the graduates who have just been presented. Vice Chancellor, I present to you graduates from the Bachelor of Science in Economics and Politics. The first class honours recipient is Valiapan Manikam. The graduates are Fan Tzu Hao Donovan Muhammad Mokhtar bin Amran Nicole Tan Yi Rong Pei Tzu Yun Crystal Premnath Kularatnam Samir Mohanti Sharin Kaur Janial Singh Dai Jiawen Yvonne Wang Wei Sheng Wong Yu Xie, Maverick. Let us give a round of applause to the graduates who have just been presented. 
Vice Chancellor, I present to you graduates from the Bachelor of Science in International Relations. The first class honours recipient is Sean Teo Kek Huan. The graduates are Ang Wen Yao Ryan. Ashwin Vinayagan Umapati Brian Ko Tsitin Chan Pei Yi Fatima Mujiba Nagur Miran Gabriel James Lo Junhao Go Jialin Abigail Go Si Yen Ili Nuratika Binti Azli Jesslyn Pam Zhu Xuan Kek Yi Josiah Kimberly Xia Pui Cheng Lo Wei Swan Michelle Eldin Yao Muhammad Azid bin Ahmad Muhammad Faizin bin Muhammad Yaqub Neo Jing Ti Francine Ng Jun Yao Nivyashini Panir Selvan Nor Habria binti Muhammad Nasir Nor Solistiara Tiong Hui Ting Nor Shafia binti Ahmad Borhan Ong Wen Chie Rania Sabrina Nair Sebastian Aishwarya Shanaz Nisha Mabub Sophia Ayman 
binti Shaiful Bari. Suhana binti Rosli. Terry Ann Tan Chi Un. Tin Wei Win. Trevor Tay Tzu Tiang. Yup, Tian Yin, Cassandra. Let us give a round of applause to the graduates who have just been presented. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, I present to you graduates from the Bachelor of Science in Mathematics and Economics. The graduates are. Fatin Fazura Binti Zuraimi. Ratina Sabapati Nithya Subahashini. Let us give a round of applause to the graduates who have just been presented. Thank you, Professor Thompson. We shall now present awards to individual graduates who have excelled in their studies. Let me now invite Professor Wei Kwok Kee, Provost, SIM, to give away the awards. Professor Wei, please. From the Bachelor of Science in Banking and Finance. Winners of the SIM Bronze Award. Luo Ting Ting. Shania Nadia Setiawan. From the Bachelor of Science in Data Science and Business Analytics, winner of the SIM Bronze Award, Victor Min Turashwe. From the Bachelor of Science in Economics, winner of the SIM Gold Award, Vaithyanathan Soundyara. From the Bachelor of Science in Economics and Management, winner of the SIM Bronze Award, To Jin Xuan. From the Bachelor of Science in Economics and Politics, winner of the SIM Bronze Award, Valiapan Manikam. From the Bachelor of Science in International Relations, winner of the SIM Bronze Award, Sean Tio. Kek Huan. Thank you, Professor Wei, for giving away the awards. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, among the graduates today is Ms. Fahana Binti Ghazali 
who has graduated from the Bachelor of Science in Economics, armed with the belief in the power of knowledge, Ms. Fahana is passionate about educating and inspiring the next generation of learners. I shall now invite Ms. Fahana to offer her remarks on behalf of the graduating class. Professor Wendy Thompson, CBE, Vice Chancellor, University of London. Professor Wei Kok Wee, Provost, SIM. Distinguished guests, graduates, ladies, and gentlemen, a very good afternoon. And hi, my name is Farhana. I am elated and honored to be here today as we celebrate and graduate as part of SIM ULL's class of 2022. When we first embarked on our university journey, little do we expect to be taking our very first university examinations in our familiar homes. 2022 wasn't too different. Most of our lectures continued to be online, but we adapted quickly. We sought different ways to continue to be in touch with our lecturers through online consultations and email. And I'm proud to say, they were the first batch of students to go through a vigorous online proctored examination. Thank you to the staff at SIM for their support and guidance throughout this entire process. After many cups of coffee and late nights, we did it. This just shows how strong-willed we are as individuals to be able to get through any hurdle that comes our way. The course that I studied, Bachelor of Science in Economics, was a challenging one, and many would agree that it should not be taken by the faint-hearted. And so, I would like to take this opportunity to thank my lecturers, Mr. David Quack, Ms. Chen Naidi, Dr. Royal Naidu, Dr. Sani Go, and all the other lecturers who have honed our skills and, and made learning tough concepts both intriguing and enjoyable. Our learning in the virtual classrooms is not just about economics or mathematics, but it's how economics and mathematics serve as a tool to handle and solve the complex concept called life. So thank you again for that. In my second year of university, I was selected to become a peer assisted learning, in short, peer leader, whereby I had the opportunity to guide first year students on the module Mathematics 1. All the pair leaders had to go through a training program whereby we learned many skills on how to curate lesson plans and to facilitate open discussions. This is one of the main reasons that ignited my love for teaching. And so I became a teacher. I am now working for a social enterprise called Curious Thoughts Academy, which aims to provide quality education to underprivileged students. Graduates, I want you to take a second to look around you. Every one of us have not reached this pinnacle of success alone. We are all representatives of someone else's dream, love, and sacrifice. Our teachers, mentors, friends, family, and partners. As for me, I wouldn't be standing here today if not for my parents' support and love. My father is the sole breadwinner of our family, and if not for his immense hard work, I wouldn't be standing here today. There were countless moments during my undergraduate degree whereby I had questioned myself, will I ever be able to finish my degree? Oftentimes, the answer was no. Self-doubt and insecurities overwhelmed me. Through this ordeal, my parents stood by me as pillars of strength, hope, and love. My father taught me, my father gave me advice on how to navigate life, while my mother gave me an embrace and told me to believe in myself. And so I did. I am now standing here in front of all of you as a strong and independent woman who is ready to face any challenge that comes her way. And so will you. To my dearest family and all my friends, 
Thank you for sticking by me, Shruti Kentin, for your advice and immense kindness. Thank you for being so sincere and genuine. Thank you, God, for guiding me here. As we walk away today, leaving behind our footprints and stepping into a completely new world, there is one thing we all need to remember. No matter what happens in your life, you need to pick yourself up and keep moving forward. The road ahead may not seem easy. At some point, everything is going to go south on you. Either you accept that or you just begin. You solve one problem and the next and the next. You just keep going. And remember, if you believe in yourself, then nothing and no one can stop you from achieving everything you want to achieve. Once again, my heartiest congratula congratulations to the class of 2022. We never knew this day would come, but here we are. So let's pause, breathe in, breathe out, appreciate and live in this very moment. Graduates, today is your day, so go out and celebrate. But not too long though, because the world is waiting for you. Thank you everyone. Thank you, Ms. Fahana. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to take this opportunity to thank ACCA for their sponsorship of awards. On behalf of SIM and the University of London, we would like to congratulate all our graduates and award winners on their achievements, including those who have been recognised by the University of London for their academic performance in the worldwide examinations. As we celebrate your success, let us not forget the people who have walked this arduous journey of learning with you, encouraging and supporting you along the way. Today, as you dawn on your academic regalia, they are the ones who are the most proud of you. May I now request for graduates to rise, turn and face your parents, spouses, children, relatives, and friends. Let us put our hands together to show our appreciation to your family and loved ones. Thank you. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the presentation ceremony. We thank you for celebrating this special occasion with us. May I request for the audience to please rise as the academic procession takes its leave. <laughs> 